This episode of 3 Minute Egg is brought to you by the Minneapolis College of Art and Design, which wants you to know about its annual art sale November 20th and 21st. Learn more at mcad.edu. Why? Oh, God. Oh, James Vogel and Ezra Stead met as film students at Minneapolis Community and Technical College, and they've continued working together long since graduating. They've made a couple of short films, but their first feature-length film is called The City, and it's a psychological horror film, pretty gruesome actually, much like a lot of young filmmakers today are making, and they have their first screening of it at Oak Street Cinemas. Well, let's meet the filmmakers and take a look at some of their film on this edition of Three Minute Egg. Scotty, you've never held a gun before, have you? <laughs> oh, it does feel good though, doesn't it? Just feeling that power of life and death right there, palm of the hand. Imagine what it's like to use that power, Scott. Better yet, imagine what it's like to abuse that power. I got inspiration when, when I was riding the bus. I saw this guy who was pretty much about to get into like a pretty violent altercation with somebody and he was really old and he was like didn't really look like someone who could really fight anyone but you know he was just like starting shit with people you know just the very idea of, of uh, violence was exciting for him I just wondered what it would be like to see the world from that perspective and try to like uh, you know what would you do if violence were entertaining what him your bears that he knows he's a dead man listen I think he's laughing at you I want you to take this knife and stab him not too deep though, we gotta keep them alive for now, right? We actually worked together on an overnight shift, so basically we wrote it while we were working, you know, when we were on the phone back and forth. Uh, yeah, it'd be like midnight to four or five in the morning, we'd just be like, you know, I'd yeah. come downstairs, he, he's in the, the parking garage booth, you know, downstairs, and I'm up at the front desk, so I'd, I'd come down and he'd hand me like a scene that he was working on and be like, do some stuff with this. I'd just make notes all over it, yeah. write new dialogue and stuff, take it back to him and he'd polish that up, just kind of kept developing it that way throughout a lot of late night weekend trips. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> Their screams all started to blend together after a while. A lot of the film, um, you know, we shot handheld when we had to, like certain locations, like in alleyways and on the streets of Minneapolis, where we didn't want to cause a lot of attention to ourselves. Those are all handheld and very low lighting. I got arrested, well, not arrested, but we got detained by the police probably about three times because of the lack of permits that we had, and we'd be out filming at like four in the morning. Apparently the, and the very person. we'd have knives and about. guns and stuff on our person, yeah. so it was kind of... Usually fake knives. Yeah, knives that were it was, all, it was all kind all of risky at knives. times, but uh, I think it was worth it in the end. I didn't really care. If, if we could do it over again, I would have spent more time developing the script, because we, uh, mm -hmm. we we wrote the script pretty quickly because we were planning to shoot, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, at a, we had a certain deadline when we were going to start shooting, and we shot very quickly as well, uh, and ended up reshooting and doing more shooting later on uh, to supplement what we'd already but, got. Um, the bulk of it was shot. I mean, that, like that is pretty typical to do reshoots a lot of the time. So I would have uh, spent more time developing um, the script, though. Actually, it was great. We should do it again sometime. <laughs> 